Hello everyone, Race One here. Today I'm going to be driving a F1 car. And we're going to try later on in the video to drive it with regular racing tires instead of like F1 racing tires. And we're at Hirochi Raceway. So, let, uh, first I'm going to do a few warm up laps and then, and then we'll get on to driving it really, really tough. So it's not that hard to drive, in my opinion, but then again I have a wheel. So that pretty well changes things a lot. So first we're just going to get a bearing for the car. And honestly, it, it's, it's a bit rough for an F1 car. Mainly because if I hit these curbs hard enough, those mirrors that you see on the side will actually bend down, which I don't like. Oh, okay. So it does get oversteery, I notice. Yep, it can. I'm pretty well gonna stay in second gear until I get used to the car. Oh, don't wanna cut the curves. Wow, they're pretty big. Now I have my clutch connected with my shifting, so every time I shift, my clutch goes in. It's like if I do this, apparently I'm holding what I used to shift, and it holds the clutch in. So basically it shifts, and then once I let go of what I used to shift, it'll let my clutch back out. That's like doing this. A smoother shift, but it takes a while, and I have no control over like percentage-wise how it controls the clutch. So right when we cross the line, I think I'll just go ahead and push this as hard as I can. Because I'm pretty well... I've driven this before on the ETK Driving Center, and I liked it, so here we go. Oh god, locking the tires already. That's a great start. Okay. Yep. I know the brakes locked, but it's getting used to them. Ooh, 50% was pushing it. So we gotta go back over here to get a start, like a rolling start. And notice with F1 cars, they either accelerate very quickly or not at all. I mean brake very quickly or not at all. So I'm gonna have to try and follow that to be able to drive this. So here we go. Let's try it again. Locking the tires a little bit. Oh man, those rear wheels. I know later on that locking the tires or locking the wheels, however you want to call it, will actually cause issues later on when I'm driving this. Uh, and I don't have the best reaction times currently, mainly because of the frame rate, which is locked to basically 30. Because earlier I tried having it a little bit higher and I didn't want to display it as smooth as it does 30, and even though it was displaying like 45 or think. So I've had to adjust settings and stuff. And this is dangerous. Oh, don't do that. This does not seem like a very good F1 track whatsoever. Oh, balls. Okay. Yep. That's the dirt. Jeez. So you survived one lap. Okay, that's good. Ooh, I was pushing it through there.
Wow, okay. I'm glad my pedal on the left, which is the brake pedal, is still working properly. Oh. Don't know what happened there. I have a feeling like I damaged the car just a little bit. But if I did, I can still drive it at least. What's nice about this is it actually has me on my toes, which is pretty hard to do. Now, if you've seen a previous video where I said that I'm a hot lapper, I don't hot lap with a wheel, I hot lap with the controller. So this is very out of a comfort zone. Very. And you can kind of tell I'm focusing, because, well, I'm trying to get the best lap that I can. Oh, no! Yep, forgot about that. Can't lock your, your tires on the curves, or else that happens. Great. So let me, let me try it from third person, even though I always drive from the cockpit. So here we go. Oh man, this is going to be so different because I can see the car sliding even though I always have it sliding basically. Like that. Kind of close to that curve. Golly. Don't shift in the first. God, that's a bad choice. I'm trying to get my pedal shifters to work and it's pretty hard to do. For okay, well, I can't do that, so let's try... I could try a relative. Come on. Oh, maybe behind it like this? Right here? I think so, yeah. We'll go for this. It's weird how comfortable I am going 80 miles an hour out of the pits. Oh no! Let's just go back to the cockpit, because I do so much better from a cockpit. So once I crash this, then I'll switch the tires. And switching the tires, oof, does a lot. Oh my god! Can this still be driven? It's just missing that front wing, or... Spoiler, whatever you want to call it. And I just did that, okay. Ugh. Okay, just, okay, that basically ruined my wheel. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch out the, the tires. So this is the shortest we can go, I think. So now we have basically the shortest F1 car that I can get. And... They're regular tires. They're sport tires. And I just did that. Wow, okay, let's not do that. Wait, can I do a standing burnout? Yeah, you can do a second gear. Okay then. Oh, that's so weird. Wow, okay. So let's go ahead and try this from interior. Oh man. 
No, I gotta stay in first. This would be a drifter's, like, nightmare, I think. Because I kind of know how to drift, and this is... I would not want to drift this. Nope. Wow, I can actually spin for third. Ugh. Jeez. And these brakes are really strong, by the way. Like, if I press them right now, I can lock all of them. They lock at 50. Gosh. This is completely undrivable. Oh my word. Golly, man. So let's see. If we put the clockwise FRs, which is what those were. Not the 533s. But if we put those on, put the super grips... Now we put the Elder Draggers 15 by 14 with the drag tires that are supposed to be on it, which I think that's all that's available yet. Yeah, it is. This should be drivable somewhat, and I say somewhat because you never know. Let's see. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! The sideways, the sidewaysness. Oh man. Look at the wheels. Oh my gosh. Hold on. They like they they're shaking. Look at that. They're actually shaking on turns. Right there. They're shaking. Wow. So it's okay in a straight line, but oh, oh, this is horrible! Oh my gosh, this is horrible on like driving it. Like you don't trust yourself with this. I sure wouldn't. Jeez. And it, the car kind of treats it like they're heavier, which they are. The wheels are heavier than usual. And you can tell by how responsive it is. On the throttle, of course. Like, just nailing it, you don't get that surge of, like, power. You kind of, not as much. And I'm trying to keep it on the road, but it is all over the place. This is not my fault. I can't help it. I may be a hot lapper, but I don't have these type of tunes on cars. Really, I should make hot lapping tunes for BMG, but you know, no. Oh. Okay, here we go. Never mind. <laughs> Let's do one lap and then I'll call it because oh man, my arms are getting tired. Oh, that's from the car being short, but it can still drive, I think. Go. Oh. No, nah, I shredded the tire again. Come on, I can still finish this lap. It's just gonna be a lot harder. Just like how F1 are, would they actually have a tire that keeps stopping because it has a flat spot from locking it up the way I've been doing it, like this. When you when you stop your tire like that and they get a flat spot, every time you brake, it's more likely to stop in that same spot and just get progressively worse. So basically, that's what I'm driving with right now, is a flat spot. And flat, a little bit. It actually feels a bit better with that flat tire. Oh boy. What was that? Was that part of my wing? I don't know what that was. What was that? We'll check it out in a bit. 
Ah, man. Okay, this car is, yep. It's a goner. So that went in my front, like, little spoiler. And what came off on the back? Well, that's my mirror, right? Uh, okay, camera. What is that? Oh, I know where that is. It's like a little vent. There it is. Okay, that's what flew off. Either way, this car has been one hell of a nightmare with different tires and wheels on it. And I've been using my wheel, as you can tell, basically. So let's go ahead and try and roll this over. Come on. There we go. So that's that's the F1 rolled over. Surprisingly, it's staying up. Oh, because it has the cockpit. Now, I would say it needs a bit of work, but for what it is, in BMG Drive, you don't really want to crash this vehicle. And just like an actual F1 car, if you crash it, you're screwed. So it's good. I like it. Keep me on point. What's well, even better if it actually had the proper tires? This feels good, doing this. Except I do it to an extent where like you're not supposed to do it, but it's supposed to be small. To keep your tires warm. But since I don't have the right tires on the rear, it's kind of slidey. But, you get what I mean. Like, whenever you're just going around it, like, there's a caution, or however it is, and you want to keep your tires warm, you do this. Like, this feels good. This looks good and feels good. And I do enjoy it. So, this has been Race One, and I will see you later.